Hey guys, this video is going to be just a quick overview of DOT Part 192. Uh, so any any engineer in oil and gas needs to be very familiar with this document. And I'm just going to go over uh, the main subparts, and then I'll probably stop and explain a little bit more of the more important subparts. So, so the full title reads, Transportation of Natural and Other Gas by Pipeline. Minimum federal safety standards. So this is something that uh, DOT puts out and they're just safety guidelines. It covers a whole bunch of topics. We'll probably have to end up uh, doing multiple multiple videos. I'm not sure if I want to break it up into all the different subparts or what yet, but um, <clears throat> so I guess we'll just start with the scope and what what DOT actually covers when you're dealing with pipelines. So the industry uh, categorizes, there's usually two different types. So there's jurisdictional pipelines and then non-jurisdictional. Pipelines. Um, this part covers just jurisdictional so, non-jurisdictional, uh, so under 192 part 1, it gives a whole different list of what this does not cover. So, offshore gathering of gas in state waters, uh, pipelines on the outer continental shelf, onshore gathering of gas, so this does not include gathering lines, uh, pipelines that operate at less than 0 psi, um, pipelines that service fewer than 10 customers, different things like that. You guys can read through it. I'm going to put a link in the video description of the electronic copy of DOT-192 so you can just go there and read read through all these. <clears throat> so I'll go through the, the different subparts here. So subpart A is just called general. That's where that scope section is and goes through jurisdictional, non-jurisdictional uh, pipelines. Subpart B is materials. Subpart C is pipe design. I talked about this in my other video. It covers the steel pipe design formula and the different safety factors, F, E, and T, longitudinal joint factor, temperature to rating factor. It, it goes through all that and, and how to get those safety factors. It also has plastic pipe. Uh, I may actually do a short video on plastic pipe, but most of the people that are using this are probably going to be concerned with steel pipe. So I think steel pipe is more important. Moving on, subpart D is design of pipeline components. And that's just flanges, valves, weldlets, and, and fittings. Subpart E is welding. Subpart F joining materials other by welding. I'm probably not going to go through all these. It goes all the way to P, but uh, some important ones. Subpart J is testing requirements. So that's your hydro test requirements, strength testing. That's, that's very important for anyone in the industry to know. <clears throat> and then uh, the appendix at the end of there 
that goes over, it's got different charts, it's got HCA charts and then potential impact radius <clears throat> charts. Uh, and that goes along with class locations, which the there's a section, I believe it's in general, that goes over class locations too, so that's also very important. I think that's it guys, um, I'm not sure, I'm probably planning a testing here to go through that, or a video to go through hydro testing in more detail, and then I do want to do one on uh, ANSI class rating for flanges, and then class locations, so this might end up being an entire series, uh, so let me guys know what you think in the comments. Uh, this, I might have to redo some of these videos if, if I get better feedback, but uh, thanks. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe.